Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Loom Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. Uh, last time, we made it to the Guild of Glass Cutters. Or Glass Blowers, or whatever. And we just ended by turning ourselves invisible to the workers. Our esteemed Bishop Mandible cuts quite a figure, doesn't he? I don't doubt the crucible's getting tired of bowing and scraping. Why would the clerics want a scrying sphere anyway? I thought they didn't believe in the future. Yeah, your guess is as lucid as mine, Flute. But Crucible appears to think that they're up to no good again. Then why would he do business with them at all? Let alone sell them a sphere. Well, you know, Crucible, he'd sell his own mother's spectacles if he thought there was a profit in it. And the clerics are paying off in cash. Which should keep us in the clear for years to come. Still, I'm certainly pleased that Crucible's not taking any chances. This scythe might become very useful if our friend the bishop has been less than transparent with us. Ouch! Yes. Very useful indeed. Foreshadowing! Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Finally, over where we need to be. You'd think we could have just walked around right over here, but no! That'd be too simple. Perfect. All right, so FCCF, that is our fear draft. Come on, Pen, why aren't you working? Okay, so now we know how to scare them. Unfortunately, I do need to get something from this staff, but I don't think we can actually do it yet because, um, well, music, that's why. It'll kind of give us away. And once they know that we're there, the draft is broken. It only works if they're not actually aware of us. Okay, so let's go find those shepherds. And show them what's what. Uh, did, did we leave? Bobbin, what are you doing? I swear to God, Bobbin. No? No, we're going to be difficult? Is that what we're going to be today? No, I didn't mean to pause. Okay, fine. We'll go out the front door, Bobbin. Since you want to be like that, There is a way to... Oh, I remember what it is. Uh, on the shepherds, you can try and ca turn yourself invisible against them, and they'll just... <laughs> they'll turn it right back off, because they are masters of uh, invisibility magic. What's up, guys? How's it going? He's back! <laughs> so are we... Going somewhere, little wizard. <laughs> yes. You guys wanted to see some magic, right? Back home.
What's up? Fear me, for I am Bobbin Threadbare. It's the dragon! Oh, He's out oh, of the way! Well, that worked. Funny. I don't feel very scary. Yeah, you, you aren't, dude. Poor fella. He must have had a long night. Counting Get sheep? away from here. <laughs> now I've got to go and round them all up again. And you'd better not be here when I get back. Go on now. And you're back to sleep. Well, we got our sleeping spell. A, E, D, C to put somebody to sleep, and C, D, E, A to wake him back up. It will probably be useful. That's some weird screen tearing. Not sure what that is. That shouldn't be there. Hello, little one. Hello there. Who said that? I did. My name is Fleece, first chosen at the Guild of Shepherds. I wish we had time to chat a while and trade some tales, but we have got a serious problem on our hands. What sort of trouble are you having? It seems we've a dragon nearby who has an enormous appetite for fresh mutton. We breed our sheep for extra whiteness, so we cannot keep them on the meadows. She can spot them miles away. By now, the dragon has carried off so many that we may not be able to fill the cleric's order. The clerics? I just saw the bishop at the glassmaker's. Bishop Mandible? He placed the order for 10,000 sheep. 10,000 sheep? That's enough to feed an army. Yes. That had occurred to us, too. You noticed our increased patrol in the forest. We'll deliver the sheep to the clerics if we can, but we won't trust them. I suppose fighting the dragon will be out of the question. Only a mage can save us. Only a mage can save you. I see you've noticed my little friend. She doesn't look at all well. She isn't, and my songs of healing don't seem to be bringing her much comfort. I wish I were better with him. Well, I would try to cast it, but I can't use the stick that well yet, so... The flock is out to pasture. You'll find them there. Go forth, wizard, and may you return safely to our fold. I didn't agree to do anything, but okay, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, you'll note that the healing spell um, goes the same both ways. That's because you don't actually get any harmful magic. All right, well, we certainly have something that we can do about them standing out. So let's go ahead and dye some wool green. Fantastic. The dragon should not see them now. I immediately regret my decision. such a blazing hurry, I guess. I thought you looked a bit scrawny. Oh, why, you'd hardly make a decent kindling. 
How's it going? Have you no manners, lad? Stop staring at me. Oh, w- was I staring? <laughs> so sorry. Oh, don't mind me, love. I get rather crotchety on an empty stomach. D- does that mean you're going to incinerate me, then? Incinerate you? Oh, my, aren't you the foxy one? <laughs> I haven't created any fire since my last mating season. <laughs> and you don't want to know how many centuries ago that was. <laughs> no, 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 that's much too much heat for me these days. You mean you can't breathe fire? Can't? Let's just say I won't. Just between you and me, love, the stuff gives me the eebie-jeebies. <laughs> so the big scary dragon's afraid of fire, huh? Um, it's trolling time. Let's see, how did we turn straw into gold? D-E-D-C. Well, let's flip that around. C-D-E-D. That's wrong. Bob and I changed my mind. (laughs) Put your arms down, buddy. There you go, Mrs. Dragon. This is surely more comfortable. Uh, put it back the way you found it. Now. But... But I have another trick for you. I have another trick, Mrs. Dragon. Oh, hey, cool, we leveled up. Well, as much as we can call it leveling up. I am a bad, bad man. Eek! Fire! You haven't heard the last of me, you cheeky brat! I am a cheeky brat. (laughs) Alright, so let's go ahead and GTFO. We're going to need to Lighten things up a bit. Fantastic! Much better. Figure our way out of here. Try to, anyways. I don't so much have the path memorized, as I do recall how to get past the obstacles. Does this go out? God, I can't remember. Nothing over that way? Alright, fine. Let's go down these stairs over here. I'm setting a pretty good pace. That's not a long game, by any means. Watch your step, Bobbin. Guess I won't be going back that way. That's fine. Gonna take care of it. That was the empty draft. Something about a volcano! Not very useful. Okay, so 
There is a path? No? Fine. Can I go this way? Uh, nope. Can I go down this way? What do you want from me, game? Yeah, that that one is going to play every time. That's that. C, F, G, C. It's already dry as a bone. Yes, it's Bob, already the dry point? as a bone. My God, you're annoying. Can I go down this way? No, Bobbin. Mother. F Maybe I should stand a bit closer. Is there anything else we can get from the stupid sphere? Bishop Mandible. What in the world is he up to? What indeed? Yes, but we can't actually get there right now, can we? It's already dry as a bone. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Click, 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 click. Sometimes I think these games have more clicking in them than, like, Diablo. Okay. Steps don't go long enough. However, you may recognize that it's all twisted. So, C-F-E-D. Just go ahead and fix this. Problem solved. <laughs> Dragon is still on fire and a little bit angry. And this is where we're going to end it right now. I will see you guys next time.